What is up guys, Nick Moore 911 back again with episode 3 of Mafia. I'm trying to stick with it and finish it before school starts. I'm just going to be hitting it hard for the next few days um, and try and get this whole video series out before I have to go do more adult things. I'm going to probably use that term a lot, adult things, just referring to work and school and things that keep me away from doing what I want to do is just sit here and indulge myself in food and play video games like any normal man would, I assume. So real quick, kind of a too long didn't read of this mission. Let's see how I'm going. Oh, I'm just going out where I was before. Um, kind of the too long didn't read about this mission is the last one with the peanut butter egg car that I was driving and it was too dark for you guys to see. You had to steal that car from a competitor of the guy that your whole gang is betting on or something. Uh, screw up his car, make your car better, and then the guy that everyone was betting on from your gang would win and they all get a shit ton of money. The driver is supposed to win it, he has his arm broken or some shit, so the conciliary calls you and is like, hey dude, you're gonna race, you're like, what, what, but, 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 hey, cool, see you in a bit. So this drive is out to the racetrack so I can go win all the money for them. Now I have played this game before, um, like I said, back in the early mid 2000s, I played it on the computer. And my dad played it as well, it was actually his game, but he never got past this mission. Uh, that I'm about to play, and I only got past it with a glitch. So it is actually going to be a challenge for me to try and finish this for my review Let's Play thing that I'm doing, and actually beat the race legitimately so I can move on through the other missions in the game. I think this is number five now. Oh, I didn't know there was a difficulty on here. That makes things a lot easier. Let's just do normal damage on. I, I may as well try and do it legitimately. It's a slow countdown. Oh, well that's a bad day. <laughs> There's actually a difference in the steering when you play it on computer, like WASD would slowly turn the wheel, um, but then with the arrow keys you would just do like, like there was no animation going from here to here, and just yank the wheel. I can't remember if it had all those difficulties or not. If, if it did, I still had trouble on easy. Oops. Yeah, that's some Mario Kart bullshit where you're doing great, and then one little slip up, and you're in last place. Yeah, they're so far away, I can't even, like, they're not even generated on the screen right now. Oops. Oh, not a bad recovery. Let's see if I can do, like, a pit maneuver on this guy or something. In third, I can't even see the guy that's in second yet. I got his car off the track, though. Oh, cool! Oh, not cool. I was way better before I crashed into him. Oh, he had a good recovery, too. Wow! Let's try that again. I need to get a better start. Um, at least a better start than him. Um, and if I can get the lead early on and hold it, then it should be able to do a little better. That's usually the best way to do a racing game. didn't work out for anyone. Well, at least I didn't crash where I normally crash. Needed though. Yeah, really pushing for a finish to this game, um, which is difficult trying to find time between work and uh, what I constantly refer to as just adult things. But in a little less than three weeks, I'm starting back at school with a really heavy course load, and it fits like a glove into my work schedule in such a way that I don't have days off, and I won't for about four months, which is fine. I've done something like this before, but my gaming time is going to be very limited. That gaming time will definitely still be there, though. I prioritize that. I think like the end of my second, beginning of my third year in college, I started to prioritize the time I spent playing. This is kind of my life advice for anyone who's watching, to prioritize relaxation however you will, at least a little bit, half hour, an hour a day, of doing just something to get you fucking zen mode after dealing with life. So I, it actually got to the point where I would uh, kind of forego a homework assignment here or there, or I'd skip studying, so I could take time to relax and play, take time that I didn't really have. It would kind of calm me down and help me stay focused and not let my stress get to me, if that makes any sense. So I would recommend that to any of you guys who have any issues dealing with stress or can't find time for your hobbies is to make time for it. Um, it does go a long way towards just kind of helping you chill out and making all the stuff that makes you not chilled out a little bit easier. And when it comes around though, school is going to definitely hit hard. I want to be able to keep my focus where I need to, so I'll still be playing a little bit here and there, but I don't know really I'll be able to play record, edit, commit to all the things that go into a Let's Play channel while working and going to school for the time. I wish I could screw up the other players the way that they're able to screw me like, like that. Like, that's exactly what I mean. But see, I can't, like, get him off course. He just turns around and he's fine. It's more if the glitch still works. It involves going up that road right there, and then there's a button you can press to reset yourself on the track if you, like, 
if you crash or end up on the side of the road or something, hit R1 and it'll it'll reset you in the center of the road or whatever. So if you drove into that area and you hit that, it would reset you right by the finish line and you go across and it would count as a lap. So you just had to do that like five times or whatever, four or five times. That was also on the PC version though, so I don't know if it works on this one. Oh, someone stopped for a pit stop or something. I don't know if that's the guy from the very beginning of the race or not. <laughs> that shortcut didn't really work out for me. Let's at least go on easy. I won't put it on very easy, I'll get the damage on, but this is a little retarded. Normally I can hold my own in racing games decently, or at least racing elements of other games. Like Grand Theft Auto V, I, I can actually do pretty well. If I get a good start, I can uh, hold my own in the races online. I um, also finished the Fast and the Furious uh, Forza thing that came out for free a, oh, a few months ago. I managed to finish that in just a few days without any issues. I hate to be one to blame the game, but I, I do recall having a lot of trouble with this part. Um, and I know that with uh, the one my dad played it, he had so much trouble with this. He couldn't get past this level, he gave up on it, and just didn't progress through the game. Definitely doing a little better this time around. I don't even see them in my rear view. Um, which I don't know if me putting on easy means they just run into stuff or what, but I'm glad that they're not nearby for me to see Unfortunately, this isn't the most exhilarating level to play in the game. But fortunately for you, you guys only have to watch the parts where I'm talking about. Maybe unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Oh damn it, I was doing so well and I rolled over on my head. Take four. Last slap, finally. Just gotta survive now. So all I gotta do is make it to the finish line alive. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, too fucking close. Just about landed on my head again. Well, that was about 30 minutes of my life that I'm never gonna see again, so there's that. Thank god. Gotta go drive to see that mechanic dude, and I'm gonna take this car because I fucking earned it. Three or four times over in my first two videos. Wait a second. Hold on. I think I'm gonna play a drinking game for my next video where I take a shot every time I cross this bridge. Looks like I'll be right back. Oh, well, I'm a man of my word, guys. Bottoms up. <coughs> I usually make a comment in my videos, um, usually being all two that I've done so far. Um, not to text and drive, because I keep doing that, but don't drink and drive either. Um, in video games, it, it can be fun, but... Hey, it's the... Convertible from the last I video, I lost the highlighter you, fight. But I can show you how to lift one and where. So now I get to go steal one of those. What an ass. Took me a second to realize he even did that. Looks like they got security here. I better make this quick. Oh, not quick enough. Get in. I lucked out last time because I was able to get back where I needed to go to like the mission objective while I was being chased by the cops, so they stopped chasing me. Oh, I lost the cops. That went better than I expected. New car unlocks for free ride. Yay! The Lassiter Phaeton. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right though. Welcome to mission 6 out of uh, 23. I went and looked it up. Um, number 6 entitled Sarah, I guess is the daughter of the bartender for Sally Reese Bar. Hey, looky here. Who's the cute pair? There they are. Help Good thing I brought some brass knuckles. Bad thing, I forgot how to help him use them. Oh, Jesus. Holy hell. I, I, I can't move. <laughs> Jesus. Got my ass handed to me. Let's try this again. Oh, there's one. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's innocent. I just about, like... He's not a pretty little soup to four-wheel drive, but he almost ended up with the same fate there. Oh, jeez. There's more of them. Shit, no wonder he was right. That's six so far. Come on, we're almost home. I'll take a look at you there. I think the whole taking a look thing works out pretty well for him in the end. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, damn it. I gotta fight these guys again. Assholes. There we go. Whipping proficiency baseball bat. Is that weird? Lens flare again. You can see the difference, like, if you just. Ugh. It's headache inducing. Would you care for a drink, Tom? Well, I could use a little whiskey if you got it. Sure thing. I got whiskey. And I was right. Giggity. Six down, 17 to go. See if Steve Buscemi's here somewhere. I'm gonna take the highlighter car then. No, I'm not. I need to go talk to this guy about a weapon first. I've got these Colt 1911s. There we go. Thanks, Vinny. Shout out to my buddy Kevin who has a major hard on for the 1911, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Now, this storyline sets off a pretty interesting chain of events um, for the next few missions in the game. So, I don't really care for some of the actual gameplay and the missions involved, but the story behind them is pretty cool. There's a lot of these guys here. Hello. Aww. Are you serious? He died? This isn't even an escort mission, and he's still here in my ass. Oops, that one was my fault. Well, let's go this way first. It was tricky for an older game. Thanks. Thank God you showed up. Finally, someone deal with those bastards. The cops didn't lift a finger because one of those punks is supposed to be the son of someone down at City Hall. That's important. That actually is like entirely relevant to the upcoming story here. You know what? Let me uh, let me check the. I actually don't have anything for the. Uh, for the brightness, like I was gonna check. Oh, damn it. Old video games, man. If you mess up, you're starting over. Ooh. Back to back criticals. I'll take it. It is one of the most frustrating things in a video game where things start happening to either you or your character and you can't move. Like, if you can set the controller down and go make a sandwich after a string of attacks start, that's. It's not a good game mechanic at all. I'm looking at you, Star Wars Force Unleashed 1. Sorry about the brightness, if that's an issue at all. I did have a director buddy of mine mention it to me. Um, that it is really dark during the nighttime scenes. Like, sometimes you can't see anything. Damn it! And I'm probably starting over again. Seven hells. Nope. I think this is take five now for this mission. Which is four too many. 72 health already, and I've only fought two people. <laughs> you felt like a Family Guy character. <laughs> Him too. Ooh. 100% luck right there. Thank God, I think this is at least a save point. What are you trying to pull here? I'm trying to kick your ass out of this part of town. I think I picked a quick car. I think this one has to end in a specific spot, so I just need to follow him up until then. Ooh, tight corner. <laughs> Oops. You feeling bad, fam, or what? He shoot you in the back the first opportunity he gets. This one's finished. I'm just gonna drive to the Corleone Hotel. I can tip the hat to the Godfather. Recently finished playing uh, the original Godfather game for the 360 and zeroed out all the uh, all the achievements, and that's kind of what sparked my interest to go back and play this game again. That and finding it at a Goodwill for six bucks. I'm glad I'm just doing a shot every time I drive over that bridge, not every time there's a loading screen. Oh. I just wanted to see what I had, and now I got the cops chasing me. Let's just go around the block really quick, and then hopefully the loading screen trick will work again. There we go, I lost him. Oh, maybe not. Damn it. Oh. Two pistols and explosives. And 65 health. There we go. So we got quite a bit to do list here. Kill the manager. Uh, kill the prostitute, steal his stuff, blow up his office. Will not be that easy, unfortunately. Afternoon. Where would I find the manager, please? He's in the hotel restaurant having lunch, sir. He's just through those doors. He's the man in the white suit. 
have to like send me a regard or something. This is the way everybody ends up when they sell out to Morello. Oh shit, shit. Oh, that's a shotgun. I guess he's immune to bullets here. Not those ones. That was a pain in the ass. At least they were nice enough to fix my to-do list here and check things off for me as I go. I'm a very list-oriented person. I don't really show it here because there's no need for it in this game. Key here. Got a health kit too. Thank goodness I needed that. Though I only got 30 health from that. I was expecting to get more. Such the whole premise is here. I have no idea what where I'm trying to where I need to go. I'm gonna go out one of these in a minute, I think. Congratulations. Shell? What are you doing? Get dressed and get out. Thank you. This place is gonna blow in a little while. I don't wanna see you in this town again. Well, just about done here. Well then I'm going Oh shit! That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> that didn't work out the way I wanted it to at all. Hopefully it at least saved right there, that'd be nice. Oh, nope. Wow, with a horrendous aim over here. Took care of him. I have no idea where I'm being shot from. But that is where I need to go, so this must be it. No. That must be it. Director. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. No one even saw me. Nope. I guess they could hear me reloading in the corner. Dang. Here's the, the shitty part. Is I was dumb enough to fight with the cops before this level. They put me down to however much health I have now, and now I have to start with that much health. 65 health. I'm starting with 65 health every time now. It's been very difficult that the maximum health I can have for this entire scenario is around 60. I'm sure there's another health kit somewhere. It's getting my nerves. I'm gonna get up to the director's office and die right now, and I'm gonna have to do it again. Get that going. I got 15 seconds. Oh, I guess so. I'll just do the cutscene too. Cool guys, don't look at explosions, Tommy. Yep, I got stuck with low health again. Now here's the crap thing about kind of the way this is set up with the save games is I have 18 health. And as many times as I die, I'm gonna start with 18 health. So that means this next part has to be executed flawlessly. Or until I find a health kit. One or two. How do I uh Oh there we go. Let's try to just run it and see if that works. You can expect it to work. There's gonna be a bunch of cops right there down below. Like that one. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, shit. Two bucks to the chest should kill you. Oh, he found me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Damn it, just now I know where I'm going and how to get there, so I just gotta make it quick. I don't see how they know it was me, but alright, 48, just try half health here. So I gotta go up here and up here. Hopefully I just get far away that I can't get to me here. Jesus, there is a sniper somewhere, I'm just not sure where. This is the goal right here, that's where I need to hit. Nope. Damn it. Now I know not to fall, and I know where there's going to be, what, I, I think the final kill is four guys coming out right there. Oh, bastards are going to go on reloading. Jeez. That worked out well. Oh, I can't believe I got that dude. Again, the capture card makes everything I'm seeing really fuzzy. Can't believe I made it this far. I'm like 90% sure there's a health pack over here. Yes. 
Oh, and that one put me to 100. All right. I was really concerned about how that one was going to go. And was taken from us unexpectedly. Thank you, Father. It was a great loss for me. Huh? What? A, I was that present is, at his death and... How? That's the one! And that's the bastard who killed Bill! Should have done that the first time around. Oh, that's a Tommy gun. Leave me alone. Oh, he's way the hell up there. I don't know how I can get him. He's just like three pixels tall. No joke here. Here, shot. Oh. Please have mercy. Don't kill me. Oh, Jesus. He's hiding. Dang it. I almost had it. There's one more try. Then it's dinner time. This is the vantage point right here. Kind of funnel them all in here. Jesus. I think this guy's wearing a ballistics vest or something. There we go. One more. One more. There we go. Finally. Pray for my soul, Father. I'll need it. I will, my son. I certainly will. There's that hearse I was talking about in my first video. Trying to get my bearing here. I hope I'm facing north. I can't believe I managed to survive that mission with that level health. There we go. We're actually doing alright right now. This hearse is hauling ass at least as much as it can for what year are we in? 1930, I think. But we're moving quick here. We're moving quicker, unfortunately, but it's alright. I don't even see how they're keeping up. Cool, I lost him around the corner. Kinda hard to be inconspicuous in a hearse, but... Oh well. And I get to keep the hearse, even better. Alright guys, that does it. Thanks for sticking with it this far. We are 9 missions and we have 13 left to go. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. There's been a handful of you so far, I've been some good critique and stuff. Um, I appreciate it, keep it coming, share them with your friends, um, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. We'll have another one for you pretty quick here. Go ahead and do the like and subscribe thing if you're that active in YouTube. If not, just keep an eye on me on, uh, on Facebook or YouTube and there'll be more of this to come. Thanks again, guys.